overwhelming odds. Our backs are against the wall. Our paladin has fallen. We were in a dire situation. Fortunately for us, we had all of you there with us. Well, sort of. It's time for reaction. You ever want to find out who really, who really are your friends and who your friends really are? Play D and D with them, because if you don't have patience, and you'll find out real quick whether or not you like somebody. Also, um, there is nothing quite like the camaraderie of all of us, um, men, women, uh, whatever gender you are, no matter where you are in the world. On YouTube, um, when we play D and D. We have people from all around the world that join us in the comments, in the chat room, in the game. And uh, last night was a, a pivotal moment. We were in the heat of battle. Our paladin, Eunice from Finland, he was being onslaughted by a monstrous reaper of souls. This uh, fiend was over 15 feet tall, destroying buildings laying waste to everything, and our paladin stood alone and got the crap kicked out of him. And, and, and as he fell, as he was about to fall, one of the many, many people in the chat room decided to request a reaction in his honor. Um, uh, here we go. Take a look. Wretched Bob says, Chris King, you suck. No request, just a statement. Okay, no, th that, that, that's not the right one. That one actually did happen. Uh, <laughs> Like I said, the chat room can get a little weird. Uh, <laughs> Chris King is a person in chat. Wretched Rob is someone in chat. And yeah, it's a thing they have. Anyway, the actual thing was this. Socrates, helping out Eunice, who's the paladin. Tear, hold the heathen hammer high. The official video plays. As our paladin faced down an immense fiend boss as we were busy uh, fighting off the swarms of the undead. Uh, this Socrates says, you know what, I'm going to put a request in. And we're going to dedicate it to your paladin, who, by the way, he's not dead, but he's fallen on the ground. And next Monday, we will find out what happens to him and the rest of us. Because right now, it's not looking good. But, you know what does look good? Let's do a reaction to this. Here we go. Uh, for, for Socrates, thank you so much. Yes, is not Socrates. I call him Socrates because of Bill of Dead. And he thinks it's cool, so shut up. This one goes out to Eunice, our paladin from Finland, who's laying on the ground dying right now. Um, just hang out for seven more days. We'll find out what happens to you then. This is Tyr, the man Tyr. Hold the heathen hammer high. My name is Old School Nerd. Check us out on oldschoolnerd.com. It's got all of our social media posts. Patreon link for those who want to help support the channel and the merchandise store. Let's check this out. Kind of reminds me of the Sabaton video for Bismarck, except it's a much older boat with sails and ropes versus, you know. Look it up. It's a good video.
there's just something about epic metal, right? When it just goes off and you just feel this medieval fantasy realm feeling to it, you can't get away from it. You really, really can't. Um, it doesn't hurt them the fact that they're on a, on a long boat with the sails down and the rain is falling. It really doesn't get much more epic than that. Not without CGI. And sometimes this is better. As metal as it looks and as awesome as it sounds, a dude has a really ugly chain with a padlock on it. Who are you? John Cena, circa 2007, asking for a friend. Yeah, I make fun of the fact that the guy has a has a chain with a padlock around his neck, and and the fact that they're they keep talking about a heathen hammer and they're all armed with axes and swords. Yes, I do point out those little things as jokes because let's be honest, everything else in this video is on point. So there's nothing else for me to say. The musicianship is right on the money. It's got a catchy freaking tune, and if you're looking back about seven or eight years, they're on the money, and it's done really really well so if you've got nothing else bad to say about something it's actually a good thing that he's wearing a chain with a padlock on it otherwise i would have just sat here like this the whole time I really like that part. That 
that's pretty damn good. Um, I I do want to say, um, real quick, um, I I, I know I, I I know that um when they're referring to um hold the heathen hammer high, it's not it's not an actual hammer. I know they're referring to the the hammer encompassing um, the pagan, the old pagan religions, the old religions of the Vikings and the Scandinavians, um, as in hold the heathen hammer high. It's I know they're using axes and swords and everything else. I was I was being cheeky and I was being um, silly because they're using axes and swords. And I made fun of the guy's chain with a padlock. But here's the thing. There's another reason why I made that joke. Why? Because a number of people that never get to the end of my reaction, and they're going to sit there, and you're going to see comments in, in, in the comments below here that are going to, oh, yeah, um, so, you know, uh, bro, um, when they were saying heathen hammer, uh, they were talking about um, the symbolism of the old Nordic religions, not actually a real hammer. And if you knew what you were talking about, um, uh, you would have known that, but since you didn't, I feel like it's my job to go into your comments and educate you because apparently you're, you're really dumb and you shouldn't be on YouTube. Yeah, that was, um, I was doing the Joe Rogan, the Joe Rogan face where he talks about the guy who does the little, the little nod, the uh, nod. So anyway, um, yeah, uh, that is true. I don't know everything. And yes, I am on YouTube and yes, I do have a reaction channel. And um, for the next person that comments in the channel that you shouldn't have a YouTube channel because you don't know anything, dude, you're just commenting on me. Every time somebody does that, I go to your channel and you have no content. <laughs> ah, I have so much fun with this. I really, really do. By the way, um, this goes out to, um, to all of you who saw the stream last night. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. Um, it, it got ugly. It got really ugly. And when I tell you our, our heathen hammer wielding paladin that close bro that close he's down incapacitated he's got some kind of onk with an eyeball in his belly and it's holding him to the ground it's wicked weird stuff and, and then we're not even done yet there's so much still more coming so anyway check it out oh check in the comments below see if anybody was being an asshat and when I say asshat I don't mean the good kind we know about the good kind He's actually a kind of nice guy. <laughs> it's like I said, these traps for the children.